So good morning, good morning class. How's your day? So let's start our prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive to those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So good morning. Good morning. So how's your long weekend? Oh, it's good. Better to hear. So, group leaders, who are the abs who are the absent absent today? All present. Good to hear. So, who in the class can who in the class can review or do the recapitulation? Anyone? Oh, okay. You, Mr. Bautista. Hi, okay, thank you. So last meeting, we talked about the word classes such as articles, nouns, pronouns, adjectives, um, verb, adverb, adjectives, um, conjunctions, interjections, and prepositions. Very good. So I have here a picture. So can anyone in the class describe what they have seen in this picture? Very good. Sunset. So sunset in the beach, sunset in the beach. So kindly create a sentence using this picture. Very good. So this picture states the sunset. This is beautiful. All right, another. Very good. Um, in the in the plaza, in the plaza. So. How can how can you correlate this picture to your to someone or to something? Correlate or compare? Anyone? Okay, very good. So, Miss Bautista is beautiful as the sunset. Very good, nice. So I have here the poem entitled "Babies" by by Paul Johnson. So, babies, here babies, can you read everyone? So in the first stanza it says, Babies are like sneakers. When you first get them, they feel lonely, they feel soft and warm. They look clean and smell nice. And and everyone comments to you on how nice they look. The second stanza says, babies are sneakers. Over time, they grow. So without proper care, they get spoiled and nasty. So they lose that fresh and smell. And people always ask what happened to them. So in the first stanza, it is more on passive. In the first stanza, it is more on passive. So babies, babies are like sneakers. When you first get them, they feel soft and warm. So all of us have observed that babies are soft and fragile when they are um, born. They are born. They are soft and fragile. Soft and warm. They are warm. So they look clean and smell nice. So sneakers is also um they feel soft when it is um brand new and brought recently brought. So babies are sneakers. Over time they grow. They um over time we use the sneakers. They get old. They get old and they they get nasty and. They lose those fresh smell and become um, odor. Uh, the smell becomes un undesirable to smell. So that is babies. So at, what have you observed in this poem? Comparing? Yes, comparing. In the first stanza, babies are like sneakers. So he compare. The babies and the sneakers using the word 
Yes, like very good. And babies are sneakers. Uh, without the use of like and us, babies are sneakers. A direct comparison between two things. Very good, very good, everyone. So, <clears throat> do you do you grasp what our topic all about, or do you have some conclusion, or do you have some idea about what would be the topic for today? Anyone? I want another hand. Okay, it is the topic for today is all about the simile and metaphor. Do you do you know what is simile or metaphor? It is pronounced as simile, not smile. Okay. Simile and metaphor. So kindly read what is simile. So, thank you, thank you for reading. Um, simile and metaphor. It is two of the figure of speeches. So there are many figure of speeches, and we will discuss others along the way. After this, uh, after tomorrow maybe or next met next meeting. So, our firstly our objectives. I forgot. Analyze first is analyze the given sentences and as simile and metaphor. Second, construct two sentences construct two sentences um, of simile and metaphor. Then, show appreciation of simile and metaphor through participation in the class discussion actively. So, what is simile? In your own understanding, what is simile? Okay, nice. So, simile is a figure of speech involving um, involving two things that being compared. It could be a noun to verb, a noun to noun to noun, okay? Noun to thing, noun, noun to places, noun to event, noun to other such things that be that can be compared. For for instance, for instance, cool as ice. So, cool as ice, cool and ice. He acts cool like ice. So, therefore, I compare he. He looks cool. Oh, I'm. Um, sorry. I compare cool and ice. So therefore, cool is like ice. So the you, he looks cool. He looks like ice because he's cool. So that is. So simile is using the word as or like. As or like in comparing two unrelated things. So for other in, for more in example, for more example, she is like a rose. She is like a rose. So I am using the word like to compare the two things to one person and a rose so she she person like a rose and rose so i am comparing she and the rose using the word like so that is simile so it is comprehensible the next one is metaphor is a comparison between two things so do you wonder why do you have graphs was is what the two have similarities so they both compare two unrelated things so that are unre unrelated so it is a direct comparison between two things so it is also comparing two things unrelated things for example life is a highway so life is long long highway is long so life is you get born you born become baby baby to adult so it is a, a long run then highway it could be um 300 kilometers 100 and etc it, it is long so therefore life is long comparing the life and the highway they they both long so next is her eyes were diamond so i am comparing also the her eyes and diamond two things that being compared so the, the difference between the two is can be seen already simile using the word as or like the two word as or like if you seem some comparing sentences 
using the word as or like. Therefore, it is a simile. Then the other one is metaphor. Comparing two things without using the word as and like. But remember this. If you're not all sentences using the word like or as are com being comparing into two things. For example, I like you. So I am not comparing I I, I am not comparing I to you. I like you. I am I am using the word like or expressing my emotion, not comparing the I and the you. So it is not simile because I am not comparing. I like you. Just remember. Another example. As if I am a student. So I am working uh, I am working with our report as well as my classmates. So I am using the word as. So I am working with our report as well as. So I am using the word as twice. So I am not comparing. I am just stating that I and my classmates are working for our reports. So that is not comparing. So just bear in mind that not all as using the word not all sentences or phrases that using the word as or like are simile. And also remember that metaphor metaphor is direct comparison. Therefore, it is not argumentative. I am stating that directly. But when we talk about simile, I am stating argumentatively. For example, she is like a rose. She is like a rose. So that is argumentative. Because, mama, because some other says, no, it is not. She is not like a rose. She didn't, she, she is not like a rose. That is argumentative because not all oh, she is like a rose not all not all people see her as a rose so th therefore it is simile argumentative so it is um it is not a direct comparison therefore it is suggesting so simile is suggesting suggesting that she is like a rose i am suggesting that she is like a rose but if we talk about metaphor i she is like a rose translated into she converted rather converted into she is a rose so i am directly stating that she is a rose so it is not argumentative anymore so do you have any clarifications or some confusion none oh okay, i want from the class um give me some example Hi, anybody? Mr. Andrino. Hi. Ah, uh, so you are you are stating you are using the word like not as a comparing for example for other example, okay? He Andrino Mr. Andrino said he likes Mr. He likes Mr. Oh, Miss Bautista. So therefore, he is not comparing. Very good, Mr. Andrino. Give a hand for Mr. Andrino. So he is. Oh, he likes Miss Bautista. So therefore, it is not comparing. He because the word likes uses as expressing expressing emotion. He likes Miss Bautista. So if he if he is comparing, therefore that statement become Miss Bautista is like a sunset. It's like sunset. That is comparing because she compare he compared Miss Bautista to the sunset. So very good. I don't know plus. So thank you, thank you. So So for the there's no more questions and clarifications. Okay? I want you to have get one one half. At least one half. Um, in create two sentences, simile and metaphor. So you create two sentences of meta simile and simile, two sentences of simile, and also two sentences of metaphor. Then you have five minutes to finish your um, seat work. Okay.
Okay, time's up. Please pass, pass forward your works. Thank you, thank you. So it seems like you understand you understand the topic for today. So I've seen in your work, in your sentences that you've composed, that you already grasp the information or acquire those the simile and the metaphor. What is simile and metaphor? So to further to further um, evaluate you, if you already attain those simile and metaphor, I have this evaluation. Please get another one fourth sheet of paper. So, analyze the given synthesis as simile or metaphor. So, 1 to 10, you will analyze if these sentences are, is simile or metaphor. So, I give you um, 3 minutes because we, we are running, ra running out of time. 3 minutes faster. Done? Okay, thank. Okay, let's check your let's check your answers. So exchange to your partners. Mm, okay. Exchange to your seatmates. Seatmates rather. So first is I feel like a limp. I feel like a limp. So using the word like, which is simile. Check. So those those girls I'll are like two peas in a pod. So using the word like, it is simile. So the fluorescent light was the sun during test. So what is being compared? The fluorescent light and the sun. So without using the word as or like, it is metaphor. Number four, Harold is a, is a wet blanket. Is a wet blanket. Harold and wet blanket then it is a metaphor very good so the fifth the bar soap was slippery eel the bar soap and slippery eel eel okay it is metaphor also then number six ted was nervous as a mouse in a room full of cats the word as Ner Ted and um, excuse me. Ted and a mouse. Ted and a mouse in a room full of cats. So it is simile. Number seven. Love is a battlefield. So love is a battlefield. Love and battlefield. So metaphor. Number eight. You are my lucky star. You are my lucky star. You are comparing you and to. Lucky star. It is metaphor. Number nine. BC as B. So a B is um they are BC collecting honey. So BC and B. The BC and B is comparing. The comparison the being compared words that being compared. So as using the word as. Then the last number, brave as lion. Using the word as compared word brave and lion. Very good. Very good, everyone. So, who got 10? Raise your hand if you got 10. 9. 8. Okay. Very good. And for those um, get 7 down, better luck next time because um, we have more, more, and more topics to be discussed with um, next meeting. So... As for your assignment, I want you to I want you to um, research or do some research or surf on the internet about the other figure of speeches. So we all know that I already told you that there are so many and uh, there are other figure of speeches. So search search on it. It seems like it seems that you all students have your own smartphone smartphones. So just this other figure of speeches and just 
give a short description along with those figure of speeches. So you already know the figure of speeches, um, simile and metaphor. I give you um, the, their meaning. So I want you to search the other. So there are, um, I guess, there are more. So you give a short brief description below the name of that figure of speeches. So that's all for today and have a, have a blessed day. Goodbye. Class dismissed. Do not forget your assignments.